I've been playing Clash Quest every single day since it first came out, and it's kind of interesting. I'm almost at the very last level, and I'm just going to destroy this goblin giant. I like how the prince goes straight, so it'll actually bypass the goblin if it's not within range. This is the boss level for the goblin. I'm going to use the book. Combo of my archers for 100%, and then I can choose like if I want to combo my barbarians or the giants. The giant looks like it deals way more damage. We're going to wreck that. And then just finish it off with the archers. Easy peasy. So far, there's not much progression in this game right now. I'm actually nearly at the end. And my card levels aren't even that crazy. I put down some money so I could buy extra lives. But other than that, this is pretty good considering it's almost like an alpha. So they have an update. And I know I'm in this video. I asked some questions. I, I, you'll see. Let's, let's check this out. Sunken pirate ships full of treasure, mysterious dungeons. Sunken pirate ships. All that and so much additional content. Balance changes, bug fixes. First update for Clash Quest. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay. Island update. That's what they call Welcome it. Welcome everyone to Island Update, the video series for all things Clash Quest, whether it's new updates, new features, community questions, and more. So it's like Brawl Talk or anything else. It's been a month since we released Clash Quest into a limited number. It's only of been countries. a month. Wow. In that last month. We've seen so much love from our community, whether it's fan art. Oh, hold up. I've never seen this. Oh, it's the the mini. It's the Clash mini character. The goblin boss and the lava boss. The lava The lava golem needs to come to Clash Royale. That'd be so hype. Whether it's fan art, feedback, just messages in general. A lot of people seem to be excited for global release. I hope it makes it. Clash Quest is still in what we call beta or early development. We're aware that there's still a lot it's of not things global, that we yeah. work on, a lot of features we'd like to add. But with that in mind, we do have a couple features we are adding in this very first update. So let's check them out. New features, dungeons, yes. Now dungeons are dark and mysterious places. Okay, so it's a dragon tooth lair. Whoa there, with level 10 baby dragon and log. Relax. So it looks like the bar goes from four to 20 and they're on level four of the dungeon right now. Dark and mysterious places full of loot, treasure, random items, even new troops. The troops look more polished. For you to discover. How do you access a dungeon? Oh. Well, you need a compass. Compasses can be found either as a random drop as you complete level. From the daily dealer shop. you can acquire one in the item shop. Now, every time you attempt a dungeon level, it requires one energy resource or one of your energy tokens. The great thing about dungeons is that damage is persistent. So if you ended at level five on one attempt, when you make another attempt, you pick up at level five again and you keep going until you complete all 20 levels. Oh. The second feature we're adding to Clash Quest is something that we're calling shipwrecks. What, what What's gonna be the difference with shipwrecks and dungeons though? Shipwrecks are a great place for you to plunder loot. It looks like it's relative to the levels. You get 200 gold for that and possibly more, okay. Loot. That means gold, elixir, everything you need to level up your troops. All these shipwrecks will be scattered around the map. Additionally, we've got a bunch of balance changes coming into Clash Quest. All of those will be listed on our official patch notes when the update releases. So I actually have the balance changes right now. The giant had a defensive gauntlet that blocks 70% of incoming damage, but let's be real. Defense doesn't matter for a giant. They never die anyways. So the defensive goblet's gonna be replaced with a raged gauntlet. Gives an attack boost equal to the ratio of missing health. So the more hurt the giant is, the more damage it does. Baby dragons, they'll no longer get hit by cannons, which by the way, look at that. That feels so wrong. Baby dragon in the front. Getting hit by a cannon? That's so illegal. And then for League Chest, there's a possibility to gain gems now. They've added explosive animations for chest openings in the item shop. Are they are they implicating that they're adding chests? But they're changing the bomber's hat from blue to brown so as to not confuse it with the wizard from top down view. My biggest complaint though is confusing the goblin with the green baby dragon. They, they look the same. They look way closer than a wizard and bomber does. There's a bunch of other fixes too, but let's check out what else there is. That we're calling... Side quest. Side quest. Side quest is where we'll be answering questions oh, me. from the community about Clash Quest development. Am I reacting to myself? And for our very this is first weird. one, we've got none other than legendary YouTuber OJ. That's me. Hey Clash Quest team. So I've been playing this game every Hello, single me. day and I'm having a blast, but I still feel like there's some missing elements to the game. Do you plan to add any new game modes on the roadmap? I do love Specifically, PvP. Specifically, I'm interested in competitive modes like PvP. Looking forward to the answer. 
This is weird reacting to me. That's an awesome question. And to answer it, joining us is our very own game lead, Toko. Take it away, Toko. So, uh, Thanks, I do want to know the Excellent question. question. We are definitely uh, thinking about different game modes uh, that, that would be added to Clash Quest. And yep. uh, PvP mode is something we've been talking and discussing in the team. And there's been good feedback and ideas outside the team as well. My guess is that we will prototype it at some point and see how much fun it is. So not yet, it but it's in the roadmap. In one way or another. The second bigger thing that we maybe are more sure or more certain at this point is uh, this plan, cooperative plan gameplay or uh, something that you do together with your plan, mode. Uh, oh. and uh, defeat interesting quests and also uh, possibly uh, fight against other clans. Would that be like this more, with guilds? A bit more like indirect way, Plans? Okay. But, but would be a competitive game mode still. So that's something we are really excited to work on next and I hope to bring you at some point. Thanks, Toko. <laughs> and thank you guys for joining us on our very first island update. Now, as a reminder, Clash Quest is still very early on in development. That means features are likely to change as we work on them. We'll see you. That's so exciting. <laughs> That's the update. I'm kind of excited for that. I hope it comes to Canada. It's not even globally launched yet. You can't even, you can only download it in select countries right now. I think this game has a lot of potential. I don't know if I could really make content out of this, but I'm enjoying the game for what it is. It's pretty simple so far. Got little bombers there. Inferno towers and everything. The wizard splashes. Oh, geez. I just got wrecked. Oh, that's awkward.